The key message here is that we will meet our public service obligations, but we will do so by doing things differently, by being more efficient, by being more focused. Key in all of this is having very clear priorities, for it is only by having priorities that we can make consistent decisions, particularly when scaling back some activities. This is nowhere more important than an RTE's output, which is the key to everything that we do. When I came into this role earlier this year, I communicated to staff my intention and put in train a process to choose clear output priorities that RTE will protect and enhance over the next three years. This process concluded last week, and tonight I would like to announce those six priorities. The first of these I have already referred to this evening, and that is investigative journalism. The others are arts and culture, because Orti has a unique role within Ireland's cultural ecosystem. Innovation, including science and technology, because Orti must be part of building Ireland's new future. Children and young people, because they are our future. 24-hour news on demand, because we must meet the, needs, meet the needs of our audience, who are increasingly mobile and sophisticated in the digital age. National events, because RTE must always be in a place that brings people together. These priorities are clearly aligned with RTE's stated values and principles, and are aligned with our responsibilities in law. They are also content and output areas where we can be distinctive, where we can, get, can serve a clear public interest and make a real public impact. Over the next three years, audiences will notice new programming and new content in those areas across the full range of RTE services.